This is another heavy haulage model from WSI Models. No way! Well actually it's not no way, it's Norway, because this model is in the colours of Vestkran, which is a Norwegian company. Out of the box comes the parts, and are we going to fail to complete this review? Norway! Let's get out on the road so we'll join up the tractor and trailer and clunk click does the trick. And one thing we can add on is the very nicely painted sideboards. They clip into place and produce a boxed off storage area on top of the gooseneck. And with that done, we've got enough for the truck to get out on the road. But actually there's one more thing we can add because there are loading ramps and they can be stored at the back of the trailer. Just a reminder that you can see all of the reviews made by Cranes Etc over on the Cranes Etc website. Over a thousand models have been reviewed and each one's got its own report. Also, if you'd like to support Cranes Etc going forwards, then head over to the Cranes Etc Patreon page where you can sign up to support our work and get some rewards too. <laughs>there is a 6x2 so there are different tyres on the driven axle and the Actros cab looks very smart in the striking vest crown colour scheme. The wheel arches are plastic like the real truck and there's a realistic number plate. The 4 axle Bross House trailer is highly detailed and looking close up there are plenty of tiny hoses. As we've already seen the gooseneck has nicely painted sideboards. And the deck detailing is very good with replica timbers and textured surfaces. And if your eyes are good enough, there are some excellent tiny graphics. At the back, the lights are very nicely detailed. It's a Mercedes-Benz Actros and we expect it to roll well, and it does. Even if it's not completely free rolling. The range of movement on the steering is quite good. And if we set it, you can drive the Mercedes around on your desktop. Under the tilting cab is a nicely detailed engine. And the only issue on the review model is that the cab won't stay tilted. So don't put your head under the cab, because it will be cut clean off. The functionality of WSI's Boss House trailers is really good. The axles have independent sprung suspension and the wheels roll well. And you can achieve a moderate steering angle on the rear two axles. So let's give it a go with the steering set, and yes, this trailer will drive you round the bend. If you're not hooked up to a tractor, you need to lower your landing legs, and they simply unscrew and reveal smooth pistons, and when they're down, they provide good stability. A heavy haulage trailer like this has good flexibility, and one of the ways it's flexible is its ability to extend. It's therefore a good trailer for carrying long crane parts. But it's also good for other loads, so you can extend the width of the deck by pulling out the little beams and adding on some timbers between them. But just don't sneeze while you're doing this, because otherwise all the timbers will go flying. The deck is now a bit wider, so we can pull out the marker boards as well, and there are some under the gooseneck, and a couple of fit at the rear, although they're quite loose fitting. With that done, the giant hand crane comes in and brings on a big load. Another option the model gives you is that there are container locks that you can insert into the deck. And then if we deliver up a suitable container in a totally unsuitable way, we can offload it and fix it on the trailer deck. That then gives you another interesting display option. Other parts included with the model are ramps up to the gooseneck, and there's also a pair of ramps for end loading. Also included is a support beam at the height of the gooseneck. And if you've got the patience, you can install a lot of deck posts. Are we going to fit them all in this review? Norway! Once again, this is another impressive truck model from WSI. And it has the usual hallmarks of really good detailing and very nice functionality. This is a very attractive limited edition model in the colours of Vestkran, and overall the model is rated as excellent.